Hi, Dr. Brad with Weed Man Lawn Care. It's summertime, we're spending a lot of time on our lawns and we wanna make sure they look great and they're weed free. We're out here at the OJ Knorr Research Facility with the University of Wisconsin-Madison, where they have a study that looks at how fertilization and how mowing height impact the number of weeds you have on your lawn. This research study has been going on for 13 years and the only two inputs have been mowing and fertilizer. There has been no weed control applied to this grass that entire time. You can see here where we're not doing any fertilizer, we have a lot of weeds. You can also see that it impacts the color. But really what I want to focus on here today is the mowing height. As you continue to lower that mowing height from three and a half inches to two and a half inches to one and a half inches, you really increase the amount of broadleaf weeds and especially crabgrass that you see in your lawn. So even though we're tempted to mow our lawns extremely short to kind of have that golf course feel, I really encourage you to make sure you're mowing at at least three inches. It really helps keep crabgrass out of your yard. You can see here where we didn't even put down any crabgrass control at three and a half inches, it's not an issue because that thick, lush, tall grass helps keep the weeds out of your lawn. As opposed to the areas where you can see we've mowed it very short, two and a half inches or less, we're seeing a lot of crabgrass come in these areas. This is why it is so important for you to follow appropriate maintenance practices on your lawn because it really can make an enormous difference.